Hello everyone, welcome back to the, to the course. As we saw together in the previous video, uh, we showed uh, what, what we, we need to assemble uh, a raspberry. And in this video, we will see how we can assemble them. Uh, and then uh, we use the, the camera for, for capturing an image. So, as I said, uh, we need a raspberry a board, raspberry Pi. It's the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, Model B. Uh, we need a camera module here, a case, a micro SD, and the, the power for the, uh, the cable power for, to make it uh, on. Okay? So at the beginning, I said that we should use the, the micro SD and then uh, connect it to the, to the board. You should. Uh, Turn it back, and then you can uh, enter it on the on the slot. Then after that, we should connect the ports of uh, to connect the uh, camera module to the port. So we can see here. We we should pull it uh, up, then put it here and put it off. Okay, and then. Uh, we, we can use the case. I, I have such a this case. There are several, several cases. Oh, it goes down, but it's fine. And then I will open it and will put the, the raspberry on, the, on this, like this one. It's very easy. And then I will pass it through this one and then, okay. And at the end, I will put the for this side, or even you can not, you can leave it like this. Or but if if you want, you can just have it have it like this. Okay, just this. So okay, that's ready. It's just easy. <laughs> one one minutes of assembling. It's easy. This is the power cable. If you wanted to use it for uh, to turn the, the raspberry on, so at the beginning uh, we use uh, in this video we use the, the mouse and keyboard, and then in the next video we will see how we can remotely connect to the to the raspberry. So so I need a, a keyboard and mouse. I, I have it here. Okay, a keyboard and, and a mouse. I will connect it to the to the ports, USB ports of Raspberry. It's like this, one and two. Okay, and then uh, we have the, the power cable. Uh, if you want to, to make it, uh, to turn it on, you should uh, connect this to this. But before that, as I said, you should be sure that all the uh, connections from the mouse, keyboard, and the, the monitor uh, will be, will be connected to this. So we, we need an HDMI cable to connect to this, and then I will, uh, I will, cover, I will connect the, the power cable to, to the Raspberry. So it's the, the HDMI cable that I should uh, connect to, to this, okay? And uh, then we will, uh, we will make, it, uh, make it on, okay? Thanks for that. This is, the, this is the, the HDMI cable, and then I will make it, uh, make it on, okay? So two... Uh, uh, a, a red light and uh, the orange light will uh, will appear here, so it means that the camera is uh, the the raspberry is on. So and it take uh, a mind to 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 boot the raspberry. So uh, if you are using it for the first time, you will not see this sc uh, screen. You will see the the page for uh, the, the screen for the installation of the raspberry. But if you install, already install it, you will see this, this screen. So it's just a SSH uh, message. I don't need it. So it's like a, a normal computer. 
So if you don't uh, have a look at the at this, the the hardware, you can uh, see that okay, it's it's like the the Ubuntu uh, operating system with the with the computer. So you have everything here. Uh, as I said, if you want to uh, enable uh, the camera for image capturing, you can come to the menu, uh, preference, okay, and then uh, the Raspberry Pi configuration. So in the tab of interface, here, you will see that uh, we have the camera and we have the SSH ports here. We have other, other ports for VNC, uh, VNC, so we can enable or disable it, or other the serial ports, or other, other ports that we can make them uh, disable and uh, enable, but for this uh, video, we don't need it. So we just uh, make the camera and SSH port enable. So, okay, and another uh, uh, way that you can uh, Back to, to can uh, enable the, the camera as we, we saw in the in the slides are is to opening the terminal and in the terminal you can write sudo raspi okay excuse me raspi dash config okay You will see this uh, this screen. You can come to the pips one uh, interface option, and you will see here the first option is the camera, the second is the uh, SH, uh, SSH port. Just enter on this. Would you like to camera interface to be enabled? Yes, it's already uh, enabled, so I I don't click it, but you can uh, you can enter the yes on on this, and then. There was an error, okay, because I was, let me to enable it again. It's, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, camera, yes. The camera interface is enabled, okay. And then uh, you can just uh, come out from, uh, from this and then make it, uh, make it close. Okay, so you make the camera uh, module enabled, so and it's ready for, for capturing. As I said, for the capturing uh, an image, you can easily create a, a file. So if you right click on this, create new, and uh, write the MP, um, empty file. So with the, with the name, you can, for example, write test.py. Okay, but uh, we, we don't need it. So you can uh, point uh, py. So, but, uh, but okay, let's, let's uh, make it because I, I create another one uh, there. And then when you, when you make this, you will see this is the, this is the test uh, PY. It's the, the Python, uh, uh, Python file, so it's empty, but it's just to save the, save the time. I, I already wrote uh, a scripts here. So you see, I import the libraries and uh, just uh, define the resolution, the frame rate, and uh, I just uh, put the, the sleep time for eight seconds, and the name that is the image.jpg. So if I wanted to, to run this, so I will, uh, I will use an uh, object, for example, this, this book. So okay, we have the camera, we take the, it's this, and then we wanted to capture from, from the image. So, if you wanted to run this, you can just uh, press F5, and it will run it for you. So you can adjust it if you wanted to, to adjust uh, your camera, and if you think that, for example, it's good, after 8 seconds, it will recapture an image for you, and you can see uh, this here. So, and even you can uh, change the, the contrast of your image, you can change the brightness of your image as we, we saw in the previous video and to capture the new image, you can just add uh, new, new features. For example, here we have the frame rate, you can have the camera dot brightness, camera dot con contrast, uh, and so on, and then you, cap you can capture your, your image. And also, as we, we saw, we can have the, the time lapse. So instead of having the camera capture here, we, have, we should write camera.capture-continuous, like the one that we, we saw in, in the slides. 
So and then uh, let it uh, a time to for this to to capture in a, in a time lapse. So as you you see, it's it's very easy. So uh, you can uh, you can do it uh, as fast as possible <laughs> that you can do. So and you don't need any special ex expertise to, to do this. You can just install it in your greenhouse on the on the top of uh, uh, on the on the roof of your greenhouse, and it covers the your, your uh, all your uh, the area of your your greenhouse. Or if you wanted to mo just monitor one plant, you can put it on on top of the the plants, and you uh, you can uh, leave it for for example uh, one day, two day, or or one week, and just uh, back to this after one week and see the see all the image that is is captured. So. By this, we can finish this video, and then uh, on the next video, we will uh, see how we can remotely connect to the to the Raspberry. Here we used mouse, uh, keyboard ports, uh, HDMI cable, uh, and and so on. But we wanted to get rid of uh, all of these, and then just remotely connect to this. I will show you uh, what do you need to, to install on your host computer and uh, the Raspberry. And then just with some uh, click, you can connect this and have such a this, this screen as, as we have and do, do, do the same task. OK, uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for your watching.